Hello guys, welcome to Salesforce Predator. In this channel, we discuss about various concepts and technologies in Salesforce. This video is part of Salesforce for Beginner series. In this video, we are going to discuss about different types of relationship between objects in Salesforce. Also, we are going to create some relationships to demo that. Okay. In Salesforce, two important types of relationships are there. We have master detail relationships and we have lookup relationships. Also, we have several other types of relationships and we'll discuss them also. Okay. In traditional databases, relationship between uh, tables were maintained using foreign keys and primary keys. However, in Salesforce, relationships are maintained by using relationship fields. Okay. So let's discuss master detail relationship first. Master detail relationship is also known as parent child relationships. Okay. And uh, in this kind of relationships, child object records cannot exist without parent records. That means master detail relationship uh, is a mandatory field on a child objects page layout. Okay. So how do we create a master detail relationship? So let's say we have two objects, school object and a student object. Okay. And we need to create a master detail relationship between them. So of course, parent would be school object and uh, child object would be uh, student one. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll create a new field on student object and it will link that field to our school object. Okay. Right. So school would be parent and child would be student object. Fine. So th this child re object records then will not be existing without the parent object record link. Okay. So parent object has to be there that means the field which is creating a relationship between student and school has to be there and it has to be a mandatory field while creating the child object records okay so we'll see this uh, while we are creating the relationship between these two objects right properties and behavior of a child object records are controlled by parent object records okay so what could be the properties and behavior so it would be like uh, security settings and related stuff fine when do we create a master detail relationships okay so uh, when you want child object record to be deleted when it's associated parent object record gets deleted okay so consider a scenario we have uh, schools and we have uh, students in it in that right so what happens if we delete a school so students would automatically should be deleted right so that's when we will create a relationship between uh, two object as a master detail relationship right and when child record cannot exist without parent of course so student object or a student table should not exist if, uh, if school table does not exist right correct and master detail relationship is one to many that means one school can have many students correct yeah so master would be one and details would be many fine there are several points to remember while creating master detail relationship between two objects okay so first we have already looked uh, so master detail relationship is achieved by creating master detail type field on child object which is linked to the parent object okay so we'll see this whenever a master detail relationship is created child object records owner field gets deleted and its owner is derived from the parent record okay so uh, whoever is the owner of a parent record in master detail relationship same owner gets assigned to the child record okay child objects record sharing and security of a parent object is inherited by child object records okay so whatever sharing security rules we have applied for parent object same would be inherited by child object records fine uh, there is a checkbox uh, allow reparenting uh, while creating the master detail relationship field so uh, what this checkbox is means uh, if uh, can we reparent our child object record to some other parent object record okay so for example if uh, we have one school to which a child is linked so can we link this child to other school right so by default this value is unchecked that means we cannot do that however if you want you can uh, check that value fine standard object cannot be on a detail side of a master detail relationships we have already looked at standard objects and custom objects in our previous video right so uh, we cannot have a standard object on the detail side of a master 
detail of relationship so standard object has to be a parent object okay next is a lookup relationships okay so when we want two objects to be independent of each other yet connected to each other then in that case we create lookup relationships okay so for example we have a student object and we have a teacher object okay now if we delete teacher object record should the student object record also gets deleted no right he can be assigned to different teacher in a school right so in that scenario we can create lookup relationship between child object that is a student object and the teacher object okay and the relationship field would be created on child object so in our case it would be created on student object owner will not be changed for the relationship and sharing securities are also not inherited so both of the object would have their own sharing securities and both would have their own owner okay and this is one to many relationship so one teacher can be assigned to uh, many students okay so and uh, and this, a student can only be assigned to one teacher right so this is lookup relationship uh, we'll look into more details when we create a lookup relationship between two objects fine next uh, we have types of lookup relationship okay so uh, we have self relationship in that a lookup relationship referring to a same object is nothing but self relationship so for example in a company we have employees right so uh, one employee refers to another employee right uh, for job purpose so we have a employee referral field on an employee object fine so how would we create that so one employee would be related to other using lookup relationship on employee object to the employee object only so we'll create a lookup field and it will refer to the employee object only fine okay next we we have a hierarchical relationship so a self relationship on a user object is nothing but a hierarchical relationship so in case uh, let's say we have a user object and uh, we created a lookup field on user object which is referring to user object only then in that case we call that relationship as hierarchical relationship fine so uh, we'll look this master detail and lookup relationship by creating those relationship between objects in our salesforce account okay so let's go there we'll look into how we create a master detail relationship first okay so we have already created two objects we have a school object and we have student object okay so we'll go into the objects and look out for student object student so we have to create a master detail relationship that means uh, the child object the student object should be having the field which refers to the master object that is school object okay so i'll go here in the custom fields and relationship i'll create click on new and it will ask me to select the type of the field and what should be the type of the field it should be master detail relationship okay again i'll click on next and here we have to specify the object to which we link this field okay so i have to select a school object over here right so we have selected school object now i'll click on next we'll specify the name of this field so it will be school only we'll keep it as school fine and i'll click on next uh, before that I'll, I'll click on back so one thing we need to mention so we have this allow reparenting checkbox over here okay so if i click on this if i check this so child records can be reparented to other parent records after they have been created okay and if i keep it as it is so reparenting is not allowed okay so it would be related to the that parent object only fine so i'll click next and this is field level security for this particular field and we are going to discuss that later in security topic okay i'll click on next to add, add this field into the student page layout next we have to select whether we should be adding child records as a related list on parent objects page okay uh, 
uh, I'll discuss about page layout uh, in other videos, but I'll give brief introduction about page layout, what it is actually. Okay, so I'll click on save. Yeah, so we have created this master editor relationship. You can see a school field over here. This refers to the parent object that is school object. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll first create a parent object because we cannot create a student object unless we have a school object record. So if let's let's uh, try that. Okay. So I go to the student objects page uh, tab and if I click on new, you will see school field is mandatory over here. And if I click on search icon, I cannot find any record for a school because I have not created it. So what I'll do is I'll just cancel this and i'll go to the students tab and cr create a school record first so school let's say we'll specify school name and click on save so we'll be able to create a school record now if i go here and try to create a student record i'll specify name of student roll number and i'll select this mandatory field see i can see a school record is present over here so i can select this school record what that means is this student is part of this school okay and this record will be linked to this record of a school object so i'll click on save yeah right and uh, so what was the page layout thing so every object would be having its uh, page layout. So this is the layout of the fields for that particular object, how it, how it appears. And also it can have other things uh, in its layout. Like uh, we have here students related list. What that means is this parent object in a master data relationship can have child uh, records which are related to it inside its page layout. Okay. And you can create a child from here also now if i refresh this tab you can see the newly created child object record here so i'll refresh this see you are able to see this uh, student object record okay now what happens if i delete this master record so if i delete this master school object record so what will happen will student object uh, record stays no why because this is master detail relationship so if i delete a parent let's say i'm deleting a parent so parent got deleted i'll go here i'll check this record of child whether it exists or not so if i refresh here you can see the record is deleted why because master is deleted that's why child also got deleted fine now we'll look into the other relationship that is lookup relationship so we'll I have a student record over there student object and we'll have a teacher object also okay so i'll go from objects and pick teacher object settings and we have student objects here so what we need to create is now lookup relationship between student and teacher so where should be the field be created so field would be created on student object so what i'll do is i'll click on new and select lookup relationship as a type of field okay i'll click on next and i'll pick object so what would be the object here it would be school sorry uh teacher so i'll pick teacher i'll click on next i'll specify the name as teacher only we'll click next We'll keep field level security as it is and we'll click on next see uh, again similar to the master detail relationship you can specify the related list of child object on parent object okay so i'll click on save so our relationship field got created now if you go on to the student object you can see a teacher lookup relationship field over here now let's say we create a new student record okay so i'll
go to the student tab click on new i can see school field which was master detail it is mandatory but the lookup relationship field is not mandatory over here okay so we can create record of student without attaching a teacher to it but school we have to attach okay so before that i have to create a master detail relationship uh, master record so we need to create a school record here save and now we'll create a teacher record okay and now we'll try to create a student record If I click on this search icon, I'll be able to see teacher. Okay, so if I click on teacher, I'll be able to save it. Even if I don't select any teacher here, I will be able to save this record. Why? Because it's a lookup relationship. Later on, I can go on to select some teacher, right? And save this. Now, what happens if I delete teacher record? Will this student record get deleted? no it won't be getting deleted okay so let's try this why because this is lookup relationship and deleting parent won't delete child object record so i'll refresh this and check if it is getting deleted no it doesn't get deleted and the teacher field got blanked over here okay so that's about the lookup relationship one important point to note here is you cannot create master detail relationship on existing object if records for that object already exist okay so if child record already exists you cannot have a master detail relationship why because the field is mandatory right and if you are trying to create a new relationship uh, the values would not be there in the existing records right so that's why what you have to do is you have to first create a lookup relationship between those two objects populate the lookup fields with data in all of the existing child records and then change the relationship type of the field to master detail okay so that's how you can create a master detail relationship between two objects where child records are already existing fine so that's it for this video do let me know in comment section if you have any doubts and do not forget to subscribe this channel thank you